Hi everybody from a beautiful day in the Commonwealth. Today I'm looking at Bunker 13, which sounds kind of ominous, but it really isn't. I'll show you where we are on the map. So there's Red Rocket and Concord, and we are here. Um, pretty easy to find, just look out for that red car. And this is an interesting one. It's a 2016 by LD50365 really rolls off the tongue that name doesn't it and he did a bunch of mods for skyrim i think i videoed every single one of those but this is his only offering for fallout which makes me really sad so let's have a look at it first of all you can spot right away there's a workshop outside so let me show you the build area okay so um as it stands at the moment there's four beds but the build area is actually pretty big, as you can see, quite extensive, takes in this home and most of the one next door. So if you wanted to, I mean, you could get rid of these crappy old houses um, and put in something, you know, really nice instead. Um, yeah, why not have an orchard out here, some grounds, put in a great big ass wall to surround it all you know, make it super safe. I I just love, you know, the um, creativity of this and what he's given us in a way of options, you know? Okay, so in this garage, you'll find your workbench, obviously, handy, a whole bunch of stuff that you can scrap, workbench, and in the actual home, well, you know, <laughs> the, the ruin, you'll find the bunker now when you first get here that's actually locked so to find the key just look at that hollowed out rock and you're good to go oh i can hear something skittering it's freaking me out a bit anyway let's have a look inside nothing nasty is going to get you down here so great big um entrance way keep out sign and a turret you know just because that's fine and then there's your light switches there are throughout it's quite an interactive home which I love oh by the way outside I forgot to mention there's a drop-off barrel which is linked to your internal crafting area and this looks jolly doesn't it I mean for all that you know we've got concrete walls it exudes a feeling of safeness to me Plenty of magazine storage. I mean, like loads. And if you come through here, there... Oh, there's a radio blaring out somewhere. <laughs> I'll try and get rid of that in a moment. There are, I think, 15 power armor stations you can use. <laughs> and a hose for washing down your armor. There's also bags of named storage, as you can see. This is awesome i wonder how many of you have actually had this used it still use it and what you did with the outside i'd love to know it's kind of a shame isn't it if if only this was an interactive game i feel like we'd all be going around visiting each other's houses <laughs> you know meeting up to talk about it okay so here's your crafting area i didn't actually put anything in the barrel outside so i don't know whether that works but i'm assuming that it will I don't see why not. All his mods are, certainly I can speak from experience to the Skyrim mods, are amazing. And this is a cosy sitting room. Kind of wish the radios weren't always on by default in this game. I, I know there's an option. I should have used it to turn them off. There's one. Okay, so the kitchen. This isn't my cup of tea. It looks a bit tatty and a bit broken. There's running water though and a cooking stove and loads again of name storage. So, you know, it's all there for you. My fridge looks nice and clean. But yeah, I wish there was a workshop in here so that I could make certain changes here too. There's a terminal. I mean, this storage is something else isn't it and individual lights that you can turn on and off also love that nice cozy bedroom not too big not too small again loads of storage 
And, oh, look at this. I mean, that is fab, isn't it? I love themed storage. <laughs> These look like they, they might hide something, but they don't <laughs> appear to. Oh my God, I just noticed the cufflink. The cufflinks, what are they called? Handcuffs. <laughs> okay, least said, soonest mended. Oh, oh my God. Okay, bobble head stand and yeah. Everything you could possibly want, really. It's very cool, isn't it? Don't you think? And then there's room for, I don't know. I was going to say a couple of followers, but you can't send people here. But I guess you could probably dismiss your companions here if you wanted to. I don't know. I've never done that. And then your bathroom. And again, it's nice. Oh, he always makes me happy. All his mods make me happy. Particularly, obviously, the Skyrim ones. But this is very cool, too. I wonder why he stopped modding. It's such a pity. All right. Well, I think that covers just about everything. Do let me know what you think about it. And like I say, have you used it? And I'd love to know what you did with the outside if you did. Because, you know, we've got all this space. And I'm feeling like these houses might go. I might actually keep this one and really, you know, go to town on it, have a bit of fun. If I do, if I get time, I'll pop it on at the end of the video. If not, then maybe in my uh, end of game roundup. Okay, I'll call that the end. Say thanks so much as always for watching and I will see you soon for the next. Take care and stay safe, everybody. Hi, so I'm back and this is what I did with the place. I got rid of the garage, I got rid of the two buildings and I built myself a little safe haven, a little colourful enclave um, for no settlers, just for me um, because I am that girl. So I'll just quickly show you what I did. Okay, so you approach up the road and we've got some gates. I've hidden turrets in the bushes. Uh, as well as popping a few up in a few high places. Nobody's come to call yet, although I did have a visitor around the back. Um, but the um, the um, guns took care of that for me. So Dogmeat's got his little house out here. I've got a patio to finish off, as you can see. I've put in a pizza oven and a grill. Although this character, uh, this uh, lone wanderer of mine, he's a vegetarian and he's quite self-sufficient. He likes to grow stuff. And I've got apples and pears, lemons. All of these are mods, obviously. Um, I have a chicken coop, but no chickens. So I need, to <laughs> I need to look into where you get chickens from. I'm bound to be a mod for that, isn't there? Little seating area. This is so nice because there's somewhere you can sit where the sun will hit you, you know, assuming the sun's out, at any part of the day. Uh, so yeah, a little pond. I can do some painting. Because, you know, I'm pretty cultured. I've got onions and garlic, green and red peppers, taters. Yeah, you know, crops. And then the home, I haven't finished it. I don't know why I bothered putting a mailbox outside. It's a bit like having a TV, isn't it? Kind of pointless, but never mind. So it's not finished. It's not fully decorated, but there's a modern kitchen. And if I'm just wanting a cup of tea in the morning, I can sit here in the casual area. And if I've got guests, they can be in the posh area. And then, so what I did with the bunker, there it is. Ta-da! Kind of, I made this into like a little, oh, I don't know, a spare fridge, washer and dryer. I have used a ton of the items from the Noir Penthouse and Neon Flats mods from the Creation Club. Don't come for me. Here's my workroom. And then somewhere for dog meat to sleep and a little bathroom off of that. There's one here on the ground floor. And then going through, this is a big open plan area with a cozy seating area over here and a library over here. Oh, I forgot to put in the grandfather clock. As I say, it's not done, but 
I have a little office, my back door, and then this ginormous staircase. Here's a magazine rack. Oh my God, I love mods so much. This is mainly entirely constructed from the Easy Home Builder and Working Double Beds mod. So there's just um, a seating area up here, two ginormous bedrooms with en suites. This one I haven't done yet, but it's kind of cozy, but but big. I actually made it a little bit bigger than I meant to, but that's okay. And then a bathroom around here. Sit on the loo and look out at the garden, though. That's all right, isn't it? And then we're going to have a roof terrace up here. I was going to build a pool, uh, but I haven't got around to it. So, yeah, a few more turrets up here, but the main ones defending the place, like I say, are hidden in the bushes. These are just extras. I will cover them up with planters, probably from the uh, Mad Rocks mod. Uh, because I love those planters. All right, that's it. I will leave you with this sunny view of the Commonwealth. Wow, it looks amazing, doesn't it? All at the end of this video, and I will see you soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe, everybody.